And don't forget to like and subscribe. Hello there. All right. Ancient engineering marvels of India. Yeah. Um, I, I guess it's ancient engin engineering marvels. Uh, is it or just some things that we've already learned? Because that's always how. Oh my gosh, it's too loud. Sorry. It's too loud. There is no wonder why foreigners' visit to India increases every day. India, well known for her cultural heritage and massive wonders, India is filled with splendid and mind blowing architectural marvels. There are no doubt these architects. Is it true that there's just no. Because at, at every f image. Every movie, everything, it's just like, people can walk around. No, no problem. Because, I, I guess because it's all made out of stone, it's all one concrete structure, there is less likely for someone to damage it, because here in the States, I guess it's all wood, and there are things walled off, there are things gated, you're not allowed to get in, you can sometimes have to pay to enter, and it's just like a whole annoying thing, but... It, it, like everything I see, there's like no barriers. You can just freely walk in and look. Is that is that really the case? Because honestly, <laughs> just like with the, uh, the 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 temple that's carved into the earth, there would be like handrails and everything <laughs> stuck into the ground, preventing people from falling off. Because what is it in Yosemite? Like a handful of people die every year. Even though there are handrails, they just walk into a waterfall and then slip and fall, realizing it's dangerous. I mean, people people aren't smart. And <laughs> so I'm surprised that it's just who cares if it's if they do something dumb, it's on them. Okay, I guess that's the right mindset to have. Textural engineering excellences and brilliance of our ancients will make you question our modern knowledge on architecture. The ages of these buildings dates back around 1,000 years and more, and still stands strong without failing to delight our eyes. Here we have listed top 10 exclusive ancient engineering marvels of India. Number okay. 1. The Thanjavur Brihadaswara Temple. This 1,000-year-old temple's engineering mystery hasn't been solved till date. Built oh. by Raja Raja Chola, the entire process of construction of the temple is a mystery to archaeologists. It is why would they leave their name on the temple, yet not a... <laughs> I guess that makes sense. It's like, oh, this is what I did, but not how I did it. I wouldn't... Mm -hmm. It's not only one of the tallest temples in India, <laughs> but also the first complete granite temple of the world. Take a look at some interesting facts. Archaeologists have no clue from where they the builders get such massive chunks of granite for construction. I would think There's so. There's no granite quarry within 100 kilometers radius of the temple. Advanced techniques of epic proportions were used to get the granite stones to the construction site. A huge 81.3 ton capstone lies at the top of the temple tower. For ages, scientists couldn't solve how such a huge stone could be placed at such heights. Later, remains of ramp with gentle 6 degree slope, pointing towards the top of the temple was found. The ramp began one mile away from the temple, that and gradually smart. intersected with the top of the tower 216 feet in the air. Number 2. Makes it easy to Yaganti put it up there. Temple, Andhra I was Pradesh. About that. Sri Yaganti Yuma Maheswara Temple or Yaganti is a temple dedicated to Lord Shiva in Kurnool, Andhra Pradesh. There's a small pond of water on the temple premises, known as Pushkarini. Water flows into this Pushkarini from the bottom of a hill through the mouth of Nandi. No one knows how the water reaches the pond throughout the year. Number 3. Kambalgar Fort. Have you heard of the, the Great Wall oh. of China? Of course, you might have. What if I ask you of the second longest wall in the world after the Great Wall of China? Confused? Don't know? Won't you be surprised if I say it's present in the Indian state of Rajasthan? Shocked? Exactly what I was when I heard that Kambalgar Ford in Rajasthan has got the second largest wall in the world. Built on a hilltop 3,600 feet above sea level sure. on the Arab Valley Range, the fort of Kambalgar has perimeter walls that extend 36 kilometers making it one of the longest walls in the world. The frontal walls are 15 feet thick. Kambalgar has seven fortified gateways. There are over 360 temples within the fort, 300 ancient Jain and the rest Hindu. From the palace top, it is possible to see kilometers into the Arab Valley Range. 
The fort was never ever conquered in battle due to its walls and camouflage. However, the moles did manage to capture it briefly when they poisoned the water supply of the fort. Number four. Of course they did. They, they captured almost freaking one of the three largest empires of the world. Right. Manakshi Amman Temple, Majurai. One of the largest temples in India, the Manakshi Amman Temple, has 12 massive gates, with biggest gates situated on the outer walls. Oh, that color is These are known as Gopura men are a great spectacle. There is a tank inside the premises, besides a hall, known as the Hall of Thousand Pillars, the amazing sculpting on which is beyond compare. Other halls too are adorned with beautiful figures, designs and carvings, and are unique from each other. The original temple was reconstructed in the 17th century by the first Nayak king of Majurai, Vishwanath Nayak, after it was damaged during Islamic invasion of the region. The temple along with its complex, now spreads in an expansive 45 acres space, and is a major spot for Hindu devotees and cultural admirers. Number 5. Kailasa Temple at Ellora Caves, Maharashtra. It is one of the largest rock-cut monasteries. No, no, no railings, no railings. That's that's very mind temple boggling. Cave complexes in the world. I like it. And a UNESCO World Heritage Site featuring Buddhist, Hindu, and Jain monuments and artwork dating from the 600 to 1000 CE period. It features the largest single monolithic rock excavation in the world, the Kalasha Temple, a chariot-shaped monument dedicated to Shiva. The Kalasha Temple excavation also features the gods, goddesses, and mythologies found in Vaishnavism, Shaktism, as well as relief panels summarizing the two major Hindu epics. Okay, it looks like they... Well, then again, nothing, nothing here is walled off. Everything's open. People walking around. It looks like they could fall off at any moment over here. Yeah, you can see my mouse. You can see my mouse. Yeah, this group of people look like they could fall off. And I absolutely prefer this. <laughs> if someone's going to jump, it's their choice. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sorry. <laughs> oh. I should just keep my mouth shut sometimes. That just looks so much better when people can walk freely. It, 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 it adds to its magnificence. When there's a railing basically... Add it on. It's like oh, okay. That this just takes away. That that's that. I I that's fascinating. The the, the whole ramp. I can that can make sense. But the fact that did they build that ramp with like massive pieces of wood? But I, I guess they probably mentioned that it was a mound of dirt or something. But I didn't. I didn't hear that bit. I was too busy rambling probably about something else at the time. Apologies. Yeah, but I enjoy this this kind of stuff is always fascinating i love even though i've just probably gone through this several times i've seen these temples i've heard about them every time i hear something different it's always nice or every sometime i hear the same thing again it's still nice it's like i knew that i knew that <laughs> thank you all for watching talk to you next time toodles